Well, welcome back to your feel-good kickstart to the day. It's a beautiful Thursday morning here on Express. So now, from her debut album in 2001, Cry, A Smile, A Dance, that instantly captured the attention and hearts of music fans alike. Judas Sapuma has continuously produced music with a desire to uplift and inspire, and that's why we love her. Taking a look back at some of the songstress's career, a consistently striking feature has been her humanity. That's why it comes as pretty much no surprise that Judith is an ambassador for the One Campaign, a campaign focused on empowering women, specifically women affected by poverty in Africa. Judith, I could feel your, your <laughs> body welling with pride. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing like summating a person's life in two lines. Uh, and she gets uh, yeah, to not sit a bad, here. bad job. Yeah. No, no, and she gets to sit here and listen to all of that. Oh, That's well, I, could, I could probably <laughs> rattle on for a couple of hours. You really have had a very strong yeah. focus within your career as a performer, um, as an African, yeah. a focus on empowering women. And, and yeah. the One campaign really does come at a time where Poverty seems to be affecting women in a way that it never has before yeah. and, and um, in, a, in a very dire situation. Yeah, um, you know, when when I got called to be a part of the Poverty Sexist campaign, I just got so excited because there's a lot of women issues that are affecting our country, our, our world. And um, if we, as, as, the, as public figures, I mean, we got about 12 women from different parts of the country in our continent coming together and to sing a song about strong girl. We're just trying to say, you know what, every woman is a strong girl, woman and girl child. They need to be helped and they need to be given that opportunity to say, you know what, we believe you can do it as well. We're giving them the power. We're actually even asking our governmentals, our leaders, to actually help in this regard. And what a time to be asking our leaders. Yeah. The, the World Economic Forum on yeah. Africa taking place here in yeah. Cape Town. Some of the most powerful, some of the most influential businessmen. Yeah. How do you appeal? How do you as an artist, <laughs> as a songstress, do you just sing them over to your side of the of the war? How do we, we approach campaigning for um, this sort of, of uh, campaign? Yeah, well, we have a, there's a petition that is on www.one.org that people can actually go and sign and stand with us against you know, this cause. And with our leaders, the song speaks for itself. It's an encouraging and very inspiring song, which we are performing this morning, actually, for our media and for our leaders. And we're saying, you know what, um, if they don't stand with us and support us, our world, our, women, our children, are the future generation to come, and they need to be assisted. I'm glad you brought up um, the term girl child. You know, we, we've yeah. obviously got a very strong focus on youth this month, yeah. uh, understandably why. Yes. Um, at a time when young girls should be um, embracing life and being inspired to see um, a lot more out of their future, yeah. they're often hardest hit when you look at the kinds of households and the dynamic that is happening sure. very much within South Africa with, with um, child-run households. Yeah. Um, why is it important now for you personally to be focusing on young girls, on being able to give them that, that platform and that that boost? I've been a teenager once, but I don't even be, I don't remember what it's like to be a teenager. So every stage of every child, of every human being's life cannot be missed. It is important for our children to live every stage of their life. So our teenage girls are actually the future. And our teenage girls are the mothers of tomorrow. You know, we have, they go through so much and they don't have mother figures yeah. that they can talk to. So South Africa, the world, having this moment and this time for them. It really encourages them a lot. Because you don't know, we've got doctors out there. They don't, maybe they don't, they don't even believe that they can be that. Some of them are being raped, they don't even want to know how to talk about it. Some of them are actually having that responsibility of taking care of children and their mothers. That is not their job. Oh, it's time for a massive shift. Yeah. I, I think this has been a theme in your music rights yeah. from the beginning. I, you know, I, I don't want to call you an activist, but yeah. when you listen to the way that you sing and the passion that you yeah. sing um, and the kind of writing that you put out there, yeah. how, how does this translate into your latest offering? Um, I know um, one, <laughs> one word, word is, <laughs> you know, it, it really does sound very Judith. It sounds like you, you yeah. really have got a message in this one as well. You know what, one word is just a beautiful song that... It's an album, actually, that talks. I've, I've, I recorded it here in Cape Town. It, it encompasses all the sounds. I just love sexiness. I love talking about uh, happiness, encouragement, inspiration, and it's all in one word, and yeah. Oh, well, all the best of luck with that. Thank and I you. think um, I echo a lot of people saying good luck with the World Economic Forum, with the, the release oh, that you've done with the, the, with the other incredible artists from Africa. We really, really are proud oh, of you. Oh, thank you so much. And, and if, I may, so if I may mention that, we will definitely be seeing our friends uh, this Saturday. If they want to hear more of one word, we'll be at the Artscape this Saturday. 
Brilliant. Yeah. Go out Thank and savor so every moment you, you can. Now that we've got Judith down in Cape Town, but um, get behind the one campaign. It yeah, really is definitely. an opportunity for us to do something that is now so vital here on the African continent. Um, well, I know Zoe is equally as inspired. She's here with the news.